Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is a really short video. I just wanted to get this message out there. And um, a couple of months ago, I talked about um, uploading snippets and just being able to get them out there, just messages whenever I felt that it was a relevant message to deliver or whenever I'd gotten an insight that I felt I needed to share with you. And since then, I think I've uploaded two or three and there are a couple that need to be edited and uploaded and um, I haven't gotten around to them, but I felt that this one has been tugging at me. And um, since we had this eclipse energy last week on the 10th of uh, January, we had a lunar eclipse. And um, the energy around this lunar eclipse has been talking about boundaries. It's been talking about um, taking care of ourselves. And this is a relevant energy that's going to continue for the next six months or so. And so I actually wanted to just... Um, make a video and talk briefly about what it means. So I did actually um, upload a video um, which was an energy forecast last year, 2019, around February, in which I talked also about boundaries and how boundaries would be important. But right now, um, boundaries are always important, right? But right now there's a special uh, concentration on why it is important and what does it mean to uphold a certain boundary that you have? What does it mean to take care of yourself in the face of others? What does it mean to look out for oneself when there are demands being made on you? What does it mean for you for this year ahead in terms of your own personal well-being? And in terms of other people's well-being like who are you going to put first are you going to put yourself first and take care of your own of yourself and then be able to extend yourself to other people or are you going to be um dismissing yourself and what your needs are and always be bowing down to what others need and so this is the question that's coming up now it won't resonate for all of you it will only resonate for those of you who need to hear this message for those of you who are actually going th through this trauma and on some level each one of us are dealing with um maintaining our boundaries every single day is a day of our lives it every single interaction that we have is an opportunity for us to reinforce our boundaries. What am I talking about when I'm talking about boundaries? I'm talking about actually being there for oneself in that moment, not giving up oneself. This doesn't mean that you need not be sincere or kind or respectful. Respect is always necessary, but are you respecting yourself first before you are giving into the needs or the demands of another person? So the eclipse energy has brought this message back into focus and it's as I mentioned it's going to be relevant all over again for us and how are you going to deal with it and I think it speaks directly to self-care and self-respect and how you manage yourself in in terms of this energy. So pay attention to that and see where is it that you're feeling nagged or feeling frustrated or feeling like you're just not being heard or feeling like you can't get your point across. Are you actually maintaining your boundaries? Are you doing what's right for you in that moment? Are you putting yourself first? It has to do directly with life force, okay? So chi, your energy, how are you actually going to be relating to um, other people is going to directly impact or influence your life force. Now you might find that you feel this in various centers of your body, your different chakras, or you might feel that you just feel lethargic or tired, or you just don't have enough energy, or you're lacking motivation. So if you are not maintaining strong, healthy boundaries with people, you're going to find that you're going to be losing your life force. It has a direct relationship with each other. And so in order to maintain your life force, in order to be able to live and to be and to fully embrace your footprint here, not your carbon footprint, but your footprint, you need to be able to actually engage with other people in a manner that's healthy and actually serving oneself. Now this message is not talking about being selfish but what it need, what you need to do is be able to put yourself first in a way that you know is a healthy way of putting yourself first and you are taking care of yourself and when you know that you're taking care of yourself then it's okay to go out and take care of other people then it's okay to to be able to meet the demands of other people because you would have first met your own demands and that is what's necessary and that's what's important today and this is why I felt I needed to um, come forth and, and give you this message um, here in my pajamas. So anyway I hope that actually helps you and uh, I would 
yeah, let me know how you get along with that. Hopefully you would have learned the lessons or you would have learned what you need to learn um, by the next eclipse and this won't be an issue again. So I hope that's been helpful and I wish you all a wonderful week ahead. Take good care and bye for now. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.